Battlegrounds Season 1 and Season 2 has got a lot of players very scared about the cheater situation. We're going to look into that and some responses from Kabam. A major rise in cost for things in game. We're going to have a look into that one. MSID issue, which is causing a little bit of a nuisance here and there around the game. And this little daily crystal buff is actually really nice and spicy for players. Did you know about it? Hello everybody, welcome back to the MCN for Friday. <laughs> Yeah? I, I feel a little lightheaded. Oh no, it's the body. Definitely the missing body. Yep, no, yeah, missing body. Yeah, being recorded on Thursday night because I've got a house viewing, as in like this house being. Let me be your therapist for a minute. No, because I've got to get on with stuff. Tell me. Shut up! What did you dream about last night? None of your business. Yeah, so you can go up there. You can stay there and shut up for all I care. Okay. So, anyways, how do you like your salsa? Sunfire or magma? Not, it's not the 5th of November yet. Shut up. Yep, people that are in my house right now, you better not be stealing any of my stuff. I need it for work. In any case, hit the like button, subscribe with post notifications on all pleasing and thankings you. We kick off with the MSID issue. Now, some people have this, some people don't. You do actually get this from time to time on certain champions. If you, like for me, I don't really experience this problem, but I have noticed it at times on certain champions. I think there's something with Red Guardian that's got something and a few other champions as well. But there are other players that experience a lot more of the MSID issue, which you can see on screen right now. For M, when she's playing, she'll go into a particular mode, and when she comes out of it, it'll come up with something saying um, something about MSID, and then it crashes. Similar with like back at the start of October with a new update, uh, you saw people were saying, I've uh, quit the whole map, and the game crashes, which is like there, 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 and there. Very, very annoying. Uh, and yeah, this seems to be a big thing as of the last update. Uh, and it hasn't really kind of like been um, uh, resolved. I don't know if this will be... Look, as I always say, when it comes to stuff with Kabam, if it comes too close to halfway through the month, it's very unlikely they resolve stuff like this until the latter point, if not the next month. Next up in a little segment on Battlegrounds. Now, I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed about Battlegrounds, and that's because when I had had time, I, as soon as I came back from vacation and after the sickness bug, I had a bit of time at uh, the latter point of last week. So plenty of time before the, the Battlegrounds was kind of ending. And when I tried to access it, it wouldn't work. I clicked, I keep clicking the button and it, like, it wouldn't access anything. I couldn't get into victory track. I couldn't do anything. And it was disappointing. I actually lost, I think, a shield as a result because I was like, okay, well, what do I do? Do I try and force entry? But in any case, it is what it is with this. And hopefully, hopefully I can actually get involved with it. That's all I've been trying. I set up my deck, got ready, and just couldn't, couldn't play it. And I had time before the, it kind of like ended. But we'll tr I'll try again on, on Season 2 for it. But in any case, we need to go over some issues with it uh, in general. And that is a lot of things with modders. Look, over the last week, you've probably heard stuff. And I haven't really been covering it because there's been so many other things I've needed to cover since the back end of the Gold Offers incident. So yeah, like... The Battleground Season 2 is dropping on Monday, which is good. And that is one day after my birthday. So the 20th of November is my birthday. But Kabam Jack said, from what I've seen, looks like the rewards from Season 1 should be going out later this week. Now, rewards, yes, is out. Um, as with Alliance Wars, they buffer the team so you can, so can remove some of the modders and, and cheaters. Yes, so the rewards went out. We know that. We get that. People have seen that in their inboxes. But there is a, a second part to this that um, is not so good. And that is that players have noticed that some people may or may not have been banned from the leaderboard list. So those that scooped a nice amount of rewards from Battleground Season 2, they may have still got either resources, items and things of uh, advantage of via unscrupulous means. Unscrupulous means basically using the mods and, uh, and cheats and stuff like that uh, and or using a different method. Now, what is that method? Rumor is that method is about uh, trying to pair off your account against another one and inflating your, um, your performance uh, through it. Again, it's something that has been hinted to at, but hasn't been 100% confirmed. There is receipts for it, 
But again, this may not be something that Kabam have actively looked into. But in any case, a response from Kabam on that particular matter. And as I said, there's there's some gray area with it. I'm not going to go down the route of kind of going, here's this person there to blame. This is up for Kabam to deal with on the situation. So the game team says this. We banned and removed many players from the leaderboard last week. Some additional cheaters have since joined the top ranks of the Gladiators circuit. That was back on October 12th. Does that put anything on a time frame? Uh, anyway, um, uh, Gladiator Circuit. Our intention was to clean up the leaderboard again before rewards were paid out. But the system unintentionally ended the season and sent out the rewards before we had a chance. We're exploring options to address this issue. To add to that, it appears that the process of banning modders similar to Alliance Wars modders cheaters are banned. But we have an issue with showing you all. As they appear on the leaderboards, we can tell you, but without showing you, we know there will always be skepticism. The transparency is where the issue lies. I know work is continuing on combating modders and cheaters, but for this reason, uh, season uh, both uh, both for the season and the future. Okay, the timeline is uncertain, but we'll certainly return with more information as the situation explored internally. Still yet to hear any kind of like feedback about that. Uh, recently, I don't know if anybody's been keeping up under the gaming news. Some people do, some people don't. And this is something that Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, I think is doing this, but Overwatch has definitely done this. And what they're doing is they're incorporating a telephone number being attached to the account. This means that what it can do is help to improve the security and the fairness and remove things like as soon as someone gets banned or perma banned or temporary banned which seems to be like a thing with mcoc that they are fully 100 percent affected by it in that if they come back they're gonna have to change their phone and it's more phone line and that's gonna phone number and it's gonna have to be more of a rigorous problem for them as opposed to it would be uh, for um, mcoc and kabam as I said it's kind of like a kind of like specific thing i don't think about would ever go down that route but i thought it was it's interesting to bring to the forefront when trying to tackle things like cheaters and modders and people uh, in general Season 2 returns back on the 17th of October. I don't think Kabam are going to address all the issues then. I think it's going to be a lot longer process for them to, to actually get this right. We really will have to see how Season 2 is different to Season 1 by the means of its process, its interest, and also its mop-up at the end with dealing with mods and cheaters. But as I said, this is going to be an ongoing process and uh, we'll wait to see how Kabam deal with it. Oh, one last thing to mention on this particular topic of Battlegrounds is that similar to the Arena situation, if you remember that because people were modding and cheating in Arena, getting themselves six-star champions, five-star champions back in the day with some of the old Arenas, they were then given the uh, the, the champions down the line because they tidied up those uh, particular um, like lists and things, uh, so people got retrospective rewards. That's a good example to bring to the forefront with this because it it's the same principle. If cheaters and hackers are allowing people that should be a lot higher up, like, you know, the 1 to 100 being affected position by the rewards and they lost out, like say somebody was meant to finish about 59 and instead they finished 99 because there was 40 cheaters, then it should be a case that retrospective rewards are given to those people that lost out and it seems in this situation people are not. And that's that's kind of like, that sucks. And I hope that's something that Kabam can address down the line to allow for those that lost out to gain as a result. Because look, there's some pretty honest people out there that are playing and obviously there's some cheaters. So why do the honest people get punished so much uh, by situations like that? And now we've got a really cool story to look at. Something that kind of went uh, by, the, by the kind of the wayside, under the radar, all those particular things. And this is it, okay? Daily Crystal Update. Why is this important? Well, let's face it. In game, like I love the daily crystal. I particularly love the um, the Paragon crystal, and that is because there are spicy things that uh, are emerging within it. If you see my saw my first ever opening of them, you'll know exactly why. When you get to have a chance at the six star champion on a daily basis, some lovely tier two alpha catalysts, 
some uh, some other stuff that's quite nice. Tier three alpha uh, alpha catalyst. It's like all the lovely stuff. Look at it. It's beautiful all within there. Uh, tier four and tier five basic uh, crystal. Sort of like, well, tier. There's all good stuff in there. It's the point I'm going to get to. Uh, but imagine if you can actually get more for your troubles. I say troubles. Your daily login. So there was a note that went round last week. And I completely forgot to mention it. I was going to do a separate video, but I thought I'd make it more like a little segment in M the MCN. So, uh, to improve access to daily crystals, we are changing the crystals now refresh every 23 hours rather than 24. This will show so allow more flexibility to better acquire crystals per day. Additionally, if you have enabled the quick claim free crystal option, which by the way is good, do it in your settings. I love it and I kind of use it quite a bit to just quickly claim it. You'll now be able to claim your daily crystal, four, four hour crystal, directly from the home screen uh, with a single tap, meaning it will be easier to remember and retrieve the rewards you've earned. And this is actually really good. Why? Why is it really good? Well, we're going to go over why it's really good because of how things break down. How do they break down and what's the importance of it? Well, you actually get more crystals for your trouble. Here's an example right here on the screen. So as a lot of you know, there's 300, well, apart from leap years, but let's just go. There's 365 days in a year. 365, okay? Then, how many hours are in a year? Because that's the most important thing. If it gets buffed for timing, then that's important. And we need to mention that. 8,760 8, hours are in one year. Obviously, give or take the uh, thing in my job. Um, but if you take 800, if you take the uh, 8760, and then you divide it by 23, you get 380. So you are getting more crystals and 365, uh, yeah, maths, Richard, 15 extra. That's right, you get 15 extra crystals for your trouble. And I thought that's really cool, especially if you're a Paragon player and yeah, Throne Breaker player, there's some, there's some good stuff within it, but the Paragon crystals, the dailies are so darn good. And feeling that you're getting them like really quickly is amazing. I mean, for me, as a lot of you know, I like to save them up, do crystal opening, see what spicy things I can get. And hopefully we can get some spicy things for our trouble, which I think, did I get a six star in my last one? I can't remember. I think I did actually. So yeah, there's kind of like really cool opportunity to get that. I just thought I kind of mention it because I thought this was kind of like an extra nice thing to kind of uh, say. So when I kabam on that one, you're giving us something extra there. Um... Uh, and yeah, that's the end of that segment. Price hikes in the App Store. Well, not really with all App Stores, some of them. So if you look at the game at the moment and go, Rich, your pricing has not changed. Yes, my 89.99 is how much I would pay for an Odin if I was spending, which I'm not. Still very much 10 months non-spending Marvel Contest of Champions and pushing it to one year. But one thing that's really interesting is people reached out to me and said, look, do you know that pricing has gone up? I mean, first of all, I don't care quite so much uh, for the fact that I don't spend, but I do care when it comes to consumers of this game and as well what you're paying. There was this notification from uh, the app store people and Apple, God can't speak properly. And okay, so the developer section of the app store for, you know, iTunes, Apple people, there was a notification saying that as of the 5th of October, that prices, apps, and in-app purchases, excluding renewables, would go up, and that would be for Chile, Egypt, Japan, Malaysia, Pakistan, Poland, South Korea, Sweden, Vietnam, and all territories that use the euro currency. Now, all euro currency, a lot of people have reached out because those are the people that have been affected by this, and it says there that um, the, yeah, it's just an increase, but the increase is quite a bit. I think some people were saying that they were kind of paying now a further... 10 euros for it or it's um it's a lot more than that which is it's like a little bit disappointing especially you know with the cost of living issues that we've have at the moment i don't know if the cost of living is something that's that's is that just uk based i'm definitely affected by it um but look that's kind of gives you an idea of why the price has gone up i don't know if kabam can set the pricing to be a bit more fairer but it looks like that is not the case and Kabam don't want to bring those costs down to kind of align with anything else of being fair. And we still have like expensive things in game uh, still, which again is deterring people from spending in general. But there we go. It is what it is with that particular segment. We move on. Yeah, that's really been it. And uh, also thank you very much to everybody that supports the channel as a YouTube member and as a patron. You're on screen right now. Uh, also, those are support on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive, and I will be live streaming very, very soon, so look out for that, for notification of there. 
And go and check out some other content which will be located on screen right now. And I'll see you all very soon, whenever soon is. Cheers, everybody. Have a lovely weekend. And see you on Monday for another MCN. And just support some other content on the channel. Much love. Goodbye.